Hello everybody, this is Josh with the Fun Times Guide. We get a lot of questions about how to clean coins that are found on metal detecting. Um, I have here three coins that were encased in dirt in my backyard, and they really don't look all that bad out of the ground, but I do wanna show just for the sake of cleaning such coins, how I would do that safely. Um, those who follow my videos here uh, know that I'm not a big fan of cleaning coins because of the fact that cleaning coins can actually ruin them in the end. Um, so it's really a matter of what's the importance to you of cleaning your coins so you can see the details, identify it. Um, those are usually the cases where I would clean a coin, um, found metal detecting or whatever, but in the case of those who want to clean coins to brighten their appearance or make them look new, that never really ends well because you can't make an old coin look new. Um, without damaging it and really just putting off a lot of collectors who want the originality of the coin. But having said that, we've got here a, a 1964 Denver Lincoln cent, a uh, 1971 Lincoln cent, and a 1997 Philadelphia Jefferson nickel. Again, these are not that bad, but what I will do just to demonstrate how I would go about cleaning coins, um, found in the dirt or picked up while metal detecting, I would start off with the most conservative method, and that's just to use running water to remove any surface debris, which there really isn't any on this one at all. Uh, there was some dirt kind of stuck on the, uh, stuck in the edges when I took this coin out, but it looks fine to me. So really, rinse, I'm just gonna go ahead and just take off any minuscule debris that might still be on there. Let's go ahead and pat dry this with my clean, soft towel. Again, you never rub a coin with a towel because the rubbing can actually impart striations on the surface and cause irreparable damage. Um, we've got here the Jefferson nickel. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, it still has some light dirt on it. I did try to slough off the dirt when I took it off the dirt. And notice the drain here, the stopper is up, so coins will not go down. Don't want coins down the drain. Let's go ahead and pat dry this one. Now, this other Lincoln scent has an interesting little bit of extra challenge to it. You'll see here, uh, yeah, that definitely has, well, okay, the crud is still in there for sure. If you notice though, like look up there by the, maybe the U of trust in the motto and Gavi trust, that little green spot is called vertigree. And that actually is a kind of corrosion that's often associated with old copper coins found in the dirt. So how do you address that? Well, let me take off the surface debris first and we'll go ahead and talk about the vertigree in a moment here, um, to keep the crud off the coin. Okay, so vertigree. That's a challenge because oftentimes there's signs of vertigree or there is vertigree on the coin, there is damage below the vertigree. So what's happening is um, oxides are basically eating away at this coin. Copper, for those of you who are um, not uh, chemists, so that includes me, but I know this from just coin collecting, Copper is a highly reactive metal. Anything in its environment will affect the way it looks and will also affect the metal's integrity. And in this case here is a vertigree. Yeah, that is vertigree. It's not gonna come off of the water. It's probably eaten to the surface. So there is damage that we cannot repair already. And plus this coin has some nicks and scratches anyway that will, will mar its collectible value. And being a, a worn modern Lincoln Center it really wouldn't have much numismatic premium. Although it is worth about right now three to four cents for its copper value because metal prices have been going up for the last several years. But how do you remove vertebrae? Well, that's not an easy task because the problem is anything you're gonna do to take that green stuff off the vertebrae could not just damage the metal below it, but also around it. Um, I've seen some folks who mentioned using baking soda to try to scrub off the vertigree. Um, um, engine degreasers have been mentioned as a possible solution. There are uh, chemicals on the numismatic market that are designed for moving vertigree, uh, which is a big problem with old like Roman coins and ancient coins, copper coins that are found in underground that have been there for, for you know, millennia, essentially. But what I suggest doing, and again, I'm taking a very conservative approach here with this, I would suggest those who find coins that have vertigree to, if they can't remove the damage or the signs of damage with water or acetone, which is another safe uh, method in terms of the coin safety for removing old debris and 
uh, adhesives and such. Although do bear in mind that you want to use safety precautions when you do that. Uh, acetone is a very dangerous chemical to humans. I would suggest uh, submitting this kind of coin to a numismatic conservator, a conservation uh, company. They are skilled professionals who know how to remove vertigree and other uh, contaminants that are on a coin surface. They never guarantee results. And I wouldn't suggest that if you do this, you're gonna get a promise that, that the coin will look uh, you know, new again. It's not, that's not the intention of such, such a service. But they could be able to approach the vertigree in a way that will not or may not damage the surface. Um, you might consider, if you're wanting to risk it, you could try some of the at-home methods first for removing vertigree from the coin. I would just take it right to the conservation service. Um, now, in this case here, a coin of this value would not be worth submitting to such a service because they do, they do charge um, some uh, premiums, not just the flat base fee, but also a premium on top of the, that based on the coin's value. Um, and again, there's no promise they can actually remove vertigree, but it's worth a shot for more valuable coins that have such damage. So this is well as far as I'm going to go in this case with this coin, uh, even though it, it's a, basically a coin that's spent is just regular money. Uh, it's an example of a very common issue that we face with coins that are found metal detecting and that's vertigree. So I hope this video at least gives you some direction on what to do if you find coins that have issues like this. Um, but at least for these two coins anyway, a little bit of a little bit of a bath in the water did just fine. It wonders for them. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of surface staining here, patina. Um, that wasn't the goal. I wasn't trying to remove that per, per se. My goal is just to get this, these coins uh, physically clean. I can be able to you know, use them as, um, as pocket change. So thank you for watching the video. I hope it's been helpful to you. If you like it, please let us know. Leave us a comment and uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And hope you have a great day.